Okay, hello Cloud Guru, Scott Pletcher here with another carefully picked selection of the finest AWS news. And to be honest, as of press time, it's been kind of a slow week, but I managed to pull together some stories that I found interesting. SageMaker Autopilot gets some clarity, Route 53 Resolver gives us some velvet rope and a big guy in a suit with a clipboard, and Lambda at Edge Billing Granularity gets really, really teensy. This is AWS This Week. For all its promise and opportunity, developing quality machine learning models is really, really hard. If you get it wrong, the resulting ML-generated decisions can range anywhere from slightly embarrassing to downright immoral. It's one thing to pour data in and generate an ML model, but it's another thing entirely to really understand why your model is making the decisions it's making. Practitioners call this explainability, and it has become a hot topic in machine learning circles. Even simple ML models can consist of hundreds of thousands of layers, correlations, and weights, which are impractical to manually reverse engineer. Late last year, AWS announced SageMaker Clarify, which aims to help you understand how data elements are influencing your model and check the fairness of your results. Recently, AWS announced that explainability reports by SageMaker Clarify have now been added to SageMaker Autopilot. Autopilot aims to automate much of the ML model development process, but that ease of use can be a double-edged sword especially for those who aren't aware of the nuances of model quality. With this addition, explainability and model transparency are brought into that workflow, hopefully shedding some much needed light on the topic. And that is a good thing. Pop quiz gurus, if the first IP address in a VPC subnet is reserved for the VPC router, what purpose do the second and third reserved IP addresses serve? Well, if you said the second reserved address for, is for the DNS, then you'd be correct. Back in the olden days, like 2017, we didn't have very much control at all over how the VPC DNS server responded to our resources, forcing us to use stuff like host files if we wanted to override name resolutions. Then AWS gave us Route 53 Resolver, which gleefully provided more control of our DNS queries. AWS has added a new feature to Route 53 Resolver called DNS Firewall, which lets us block certain public and private DNS queries from resolving within our VPC. You can also implement specific allow lists, which only permit certain domains to be resolved. This new DNS Firewall feature also integrates with the AWS Firewall Manager for deployment across multiple accounts and can be useful when creating another layer of resource protection. And oh, that third reserved IP address, well, that's just for future use. AWS Lambda at Edge billing granularity has been reduced substantially from 50 milliseconds down to one millisecond. Lambda at Edge lives out in CloudFront land and can do some pretty cool stuff, like rewrite a URL path to a locale specific website based on the edge location, or dynamically change which content is served up based on the user agent header. Now, these types of tasks are usually simple and quick, so smaller billing granularity means that I'm now only paying per millisecond rather than per 50 milliseconds. While this might seem like a tiny improvement, it can really add up if you're a high volume site. And finally, would you like to win some AWS credits? Of course you do. Put your cloud knowledge to the test in our first ever live interactive game show that we're calling the Guru Games. It's happening on Thursday, April 15th, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Universal Coordinated Time. To participate, head on over to our brand new Discord community linked down below for further instructions. And that, my friends, is some of the AWS news that I found to print this week. If you're so inclined, like and subscribe, stay safe, take care of one another, and keep being awesome, cloud gurus.